Hey guys, welcome back to the Knitting Expat podcast and to another episode of Finishing Friday. Um, I realised I got halfway through filming and I haven't actually done the introduction yet so I figured I would hop on quickly do the introduction so you'll see this at the beginning of the video. Um, apologies, it's not face to face, I look like a mess today. Uh, not that I usually care but anyway, today I am working on the headbands that I crocheted for the Christmas fair that I'm doing with Layla this year. Um, honestly I didn't realise quite how much of a commitment I was committing to and I realised I have to actually stock this uh, craft stall, this stall at the craft fair with stuff. So I crocheted a bunch of these um, twisted headbands so I just need to, you just crochet them flat and then fold them together and sew them up and it becomes create the twist which is quite cool. Um, so I've done a whole bunch of them already which you'll which you'll see coming up and then now I'm working on the next lot. Um, these are all like the chenille yarn types like the fluffy like soft velvet feeling yarn. Um, so I'm getting those ones done and then this is the last batch I have to do after that. So then that'll be all of them, all of them done. I think I have uh, about 40 something, 40-ish um, headbands, probably more than I needed. But anyway, um, slowly working through the stuff that I need to get done for this craft fair as well as cracking on with other things but seaming these headbands up has been something I've been putting off for a long time and I just want to get it done and off my to-do list so that's what we are doing today. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, it'll probably mostly be music set to time lapse, um, I'm literally just seaming a bunch of stuff and I will hopefully be back with another finishing Friday at some point. Um, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you get some finishing done, some seaming done, ends woven in, anything you need to get done, done. And I will, I will see you soon.
Hey guys, so just wanted to quickly pop on here at the end to show you what those headbands look like with better lighting than what I had when I was filming most of the Finishing Friday video. Um, so I just have a handful of them here, I'll grab a few uh, with some different colours on them. Um, uh, let me see. Right, okay, so here's a handful. I finally, I finished them all. I have about 40 odd hairbands in total, like headbands. And these are so cute, they really are. Um, and they'll, they'll be great for like the winter weather with, um, they'll keep your ears nice and warm, they're like ear warmer headbands basically. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is one of the chenille, uh, like fluffy, not fluffy, like velvety feeling ones. And so this is the little label. It's got a heart on this side with what looks like knit stitches. And then on the other side, it says handmade with love. You can have it either way around, but I like the heart on the outside. I feel like it's less, I don't know. I just prefer it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I had a few different colors of these and I like these ones, these uh, little faux leather tags because they come with like this little um, pin and it's got a front and back and you just sort of push them together and it locks in place and it doesn't come undone very easily. I prefer these to the other versions, which are the sew on kind just because who has the time to sit there and sew these labels on these are this this method so much quicker um as you'll have as you'll have seen the 40 or so headbands that i attached labels to um I, I think i did it in less than 20 minutes and having to sit there and hand sew each one on would have been so much longer and i'm all about efficiency <laughs> at the moment and getting stuff done in a timely manner anyway um yeah i did really like these i wasn't able to stick a label on every headband because I ran out of the right colours that would go with them. The colours, the one I really had left was like this purple colour that I was only really able to use for one headband. Um, because of the shade, sorry I don't know if you can hear me with my head turned away. Because of the shade it was the only one that really worked with the purple. This purple was a little bit too like cool toned to go with even the lilac. It would have been weird with this purple on it. Um, but yeah, this is actually out of my hand spun. It's the only one I've done with hand spun. Um, I might actually keep this one for myself just because it is hand spun. As you can see, sorry, it's just caught on my hair at the back. There you go. Covers the ears. The tag, uh, even though it's against my skin, I can't feel it, so it's not annoying at all, which is good. And, uh, and yeah. There we go. <laughs> so they're all done with like the twisty turban style headbands. So I've got a whole bunch of these ready for the Christmas market. And that's one big job off my to-do list, which is good because I um, needed that. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this Finishing Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.